Hey, Crypto Growth Fam, how's it going? This is your host, Shazib, signing in. We're back with another video, guys. In this video, we will be discussing Constellation DAG. Is DAG gaining momentum? It's going to be an interesting video, guys, so make sure to watch till the end. And folks, for those of you who are new to the channel, we primarily discuss utility coins and potential gems. If you're interested in any of that stuff, guys, then make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the notification icon for regular videos. And you can also support the channel by becoming a Patreon, so do check that out as well if you're interested. Anyways, guys, let us begin first and foremost with the price of Constellation DAG at the time of the recording. So... Constellation is up 1.44% for the day. It uh, basically went from 0.04957 to 0.053. If we look at the seven-day chart, guys, it is up 1.22%. Uh, basically, it is uh, consolidating. It is in a range, this range, and I talk. Uh, and this is the attraction point, 0.051. I always talk about the attraction point, a magnet where the price comes back. So whenever it goes up, it is coming back down. And whenever it goes down, it comes back up to this uh, attraction point. So let's see what happens. Let If you look at the monthly chart, uh, it is down 27.12%. Uh, uh, as, you, as you know, it uh, made a decent move in, uh, in a, a early move. Check this out. It went all the way from 0 0.027. 1.6 all the way to 0 .07, 0 0.27 to almost 0 0.07, guys. So kudos to those who have uh, made gains uh, because we've been talking about Constellation since a while now. And if you've made these short-term short, short -term games as well, so congratulations and kudos to you. But now, again, this is a crucial line over here, which I'm talking about, 0 0.054. This is the attraction point in the yearly chart. And if uh, it breaks out from this range, guys, then uh, Constellation has the potential to go on and uh, test out these uh, uh, this resistance over here, 0 0.10, almost doubling from this point, 0 0.051, so doubling your money. <laughs> so uh, in crypto, we are not happy with a double. We want multipliers, multi multifold multipliers. So uh, in any other investment, uh, a double would be considered the best gains of all time, but not in crypto. Anyways, but uh, Constellation in the long haul has the potential to do those wonderful multipliers as well. Only a $65 million market cap. And what it aims to do, guys, it is phenomenal. The tech is phenomenal. And uh, the associations, the networks it is involved with is awesome. The fully diluted market cap is $1.190 million. So uh, let me show you guys uh, its gateway as well. Lettuce. Lettuce is undervalued as well. It is the DeFi hub. I've talked about this uh, as well. So it is undervalued as well. You guys can check out my video on LTX to learn more about that. Anyways, guys, let me show you uh, some uh, uh, posts of Constellation DAG that the community has been talking about. So yeah, DAG starting to build momentum. 99% of the crypto world does not know about the partnerships, government, big tech that uh, Constellation DAG is involved with. Might see a speedy 2 to 3x short term. And I have a dollar fifteen to seventeen target on DAG this cycle. So shout out to uh, 2025 Max, Maxi. So the, he believes that uh, uh, the target on DAG this cycle is dollar fifteen to dollar seventeen. Now, if you look at the chart, guys, it is priced at around dollar zero point zero five. If it reaches dollar, uh, if it reaches dollar fifteen to dollar seventeen, I mean this is going to be all, all. I think this is one of the awesomest gains out there, one of the most phenomenal gains in in the entire space, and one of the best gains because I think in the long haul, even uh, uh, this uh, fifteen to seventeen targets might seem to be a bit. Uh, uh, in the lower end, in my opinion, because what Constellation is doing, guys, it is extremely great, guys. The tech is awesome. Let me show you another post over here, a really decent post. Uh, because I uh, people are seeing... Why am I saying this? I mean, because... Uh, People are considering DAG in the, some proponents, obviously, the advocates are considering it in, to be in the in line of BTC and Ethereum. We have to look at it in, in that lens if it reaches those uh, heights, guys. Obviously, 
tens of billions, hundreds of billions of market cap. It is not easy. I mean, yes, but uh, it is one of those projects that it, those innovative projects that has a shot at it. So this is why we are covering it, obviously. So check this out. The hypergraph transfer protocol, HGTP, is at the core of Constellation Network's technology. It is an advanced blockchain architecture that uses a directed acyclic graph DAX structure, which differs from traditional blockchain systems like those of Bitcoin or Ethereum. So here's how it works. Directed acyclic graph. Unlike a standard blockchain that stacks blocks in a linear order, uh, a DAG is a graph that can branch in several di directions and doesn't loop back on itself. So guys, basically, that uh, when a block is created in a, a standard blockchain, we see it uh, being created in a linear order, in a linear pattern. What a directed acyclic graph does, it goes all the way, stretches like its its roots all across horizontally, vertically, and all of that stuff. So what does this allow? It allows for multiple chains of blocks to exist simultaneously. So increase. So what it does is that uh, the scalability increases. Obviously, the hypergraph transfer protocol is designed for scalability. The DAX structure enables the network to handle a high volume of transactions without a corresponding increase in cost or pro processing time. It has security and consensus. Uh, the, the consensus mechanism is innovative, basically. Hypergraph transfer protocol uses a unique consensus mechanism known as proof of reputable observation. So, so what it does is, guys, that instead of relying on proof of work, which uh, uh, Bitcoin uses or proof of stake that Ethereum is using uh, now, PRO builds a trust-based system where nodes, the network participants, gain reputation based on their history of contributing accurate and honest data. So basically, guys, uh, you know that uh, there are multiple ways that nodes uh, maneuver. So in uh, the PRO, it depends on reputation. It depends on past performances. It depends on the history of the node, whether it has performed well or not, its reputation. So what it does is, uh, the, the the higher a node's reputation becomes, the more influence it has on verifying transactions. So this is a really, it is basically a merit mer, uh, meritocracy. It is based on meritocracy. It is based on merit. So if you're honest, if you're accurate, if you're really, if your history is good, if your uh, if your CV is good, <laughs> so you're going to be uh, basically uh, having more influence in the verification of transactions, interoperability. One of the primary goals of HGTP is to create an interoperable network that can seamlessly exchange data and value across various blockchain protocols. This means that HGTP isn't just a standalone system, but a facilitator for, for cross-chain communication. Guys, you know that interoperability basically means that uh, it is chain agnostic. It is basically, it taps into various blockchains, so it is not confined to a certain chain. So it has great potential when it comes to multi-chain applications as well. So this is a really great part of uh, Constellation DAG as well. The fee-less transactions, transactions on hypergraph transfer protocol are designed to be fee-less. I mean, why would enterprises want to pay fee, guys, in my opinion? Uh, I mean, the governments, the government agencies, they need to basically be cost. They are basically reducing costs. So AGTB is basically uh, primed for that. AGTB is designed to be fearless, making it a cost-effective solution for businesses, individuals, governments, uh, financial uh, players. This is particularly beneficial for Internet of Things applications. Uh, in Internet of Things applications, guys, there would be micro transactions and frequent fees obviously would be disruptive. If you've got uh, an AC connected in your house or a robot doing something, I mean, if that connectivity happens in Internet of Things devices, I mean, why would people want to pay fees? Uh, th this is a no-brainer that uh, fee-less transactions are part and parcel of the future, and uh, and uh, Constellation DAG is doing that. 
data integrity and security. Constellation Network emphasizes data integrity and security. So if it weren't secured, guys, Department of Defense wouldn't be having, uh, uh, it wouldn't be interested in Constellation DAG, guys, if it didn't have that integrity, if it, it wasn't secure. So uh, that collaboration uh, itself is a statement that uh, Constellation DAG is extremely secure and uh, it has that data integrity, making HGTB suitable for industries where data needs to be verified and secured uh, in real time, such as finance, healthcare, and government services. So all of these sectors and departments, guys, they want uh, secure data. They they want their data to be secure, and they do not want to be get. They, they do not want to get penetrated by external players, the, the malicious players as well. So. Uh, all in all, in a nutshell, the Hypergraph Transfer Protocol is an innovative approach to blockchain technology, offering an alternative that addresses many of the limitations of ideal blockchain systems. So this is a new thing, a new tech that is happening in line with BTC or Ethereum. So we're going to be looking at the potential in line with BTC and Ethereum as well in the long haul, guys. I know this is far-fetched. A lot of people would, will say that, no, uh, it won't happen. I mean, there are a lot of issues with DAG and all of that stuff. I've been hearing that in the comments, obviously. But what else do you have in store that can uh, basically uh, have the potential targets of BTC or Ethereum? There are going to be a few projects that, that reach hundreds and billions of markets cap guys so this is this can happen even ethereum when it started people wouldn't have believed it to be so high so constellation dag is also one of those potential gems guys that has the shot to reach I do, i'm not saying that it will reach these heights but it has the shot to reach these high, heights guys Get, check this out dag is quite possibly the most undervalued low cap in the entire space this is going to be the dark horse of the bull run in my opinion the tech is unmatched so what do you guys think do you guys think that it does it have a shot to reach uh, ethereum's if not btc does it have the shot to reach uh, ethereum's current market cap in uh, in five years or seven years decade down the line do hit the comment box below and let the community know guys uh, and i hope you liked this video if you liked it make sure to like share comment and subscribe and uh, do hit the notification icon uh, as well if you're interested in utility coins and potential gems and do support the channel by becoming a patreon if you're interested like i always say at the end until next time stay blessed and stay tuned thank you very much everyone